Hey, good morning everyone. It is Eric here with a quick video blog update. Make sure you're following Jess Briganti. She's been doing some Facebook Lives this morning from our downtown studios. I'm going to keep this uh, little video blog fairly short this morning. Of course, we've had a rainy morning and uh, some flood advisories have been hoisted. One for Geauga County, the other for the far eastern part of Mercer County. Flood advisories typically are kind of short fuse things. They last a handful of hours and that Eastern Mercer County Flood Advisory runs until 11.45 this morning. Here's a look at the radar loop as of 8.43 this morning. Light to moderate rain with some rumbles of thunder and a few flashes of lightning here and there. As you can see though, the back edge of the steadiest rain is starting to approach from the west. I think we're going to get into a, a kind of midday lull, but the big question for us today is how long does that, uh, that lull last? And uh, you know, in some places it'll last a little longer than others, I think. So let's uh, get right to some of the details on what to expect today. First of all, the severe weather risk. All right, the Storm Prediction Center, uh, part of the National Weather Service, does have much of the region in what we call the slight risk. That's the yellow area. Slight risk is kind of one of the middle severe weather categories. It's not at the low end. It's certainly not at the high end. It's kind of more in the middle. Uh, we are in a slight risk for severe weather several times during the spring and the summer, typically. and. Uh, it usually means that conditions are favorable for some stronger uh, or perhaps severe thunderstorms. Now, when we break this down individually, as far as the risk for any type of severe weather, they do have a 2% area cut out here of eastern Ohio, western PA, 2% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of any individual spot. So, uh, of course, 2% is not very high, but, uh, you know, it's higher than a typical day, certainly. Uh, here's the uh, threats for damaging wind gusts. 15% is the area they have cut out here. Again, that's a 15% chance of a damaging wind gust within 25 miles of any spot. The hail chances are lower than the wind threat. The hail is kind of a secondary concern or even a tertiary, tertiary concern today. Uh, it's more of a heavy rain and wind threat with any storms today. And uh, that wind threat is especially later on today. Not much of a wind threat at all here this morning. It's mostly just heavy rain. Now what about, uh, you know, if we had to, looking at the current data, if we had to pick out some areas that are more likely to see another round of thunderstorms and possibly severe weather later today. Uh, I'm showing you something here we call the uh, supercell composite, basically combining the instability in the atmosphere with also how much wind shear there is or, or changing of the wind as you go up in the atmosphere. And uh, we'll go out a, a handful of hours here. Here's midday, and especially as we get into the afternoon, this is something I'll be keeping an eye on. Right now, some of the data suggests that the chances for heavier storms, possible severe weather, might be highest across kind of the I-71 corridor, and then maybe down towards Pittsburgh, with a relative minimum the farther north you go, with a little more of a stabilizing effect from this morning's rain. So that's a trend I'll be keeping an eye on. And, and as we go forward through time here, you can see those uh, the supercell composite index here remains higher the farther south and west away from Youngstown that you go. Uh, this is at uh, this is five o'clock this evening, six o'clock this evening coming up. And again, the uh, numbers become a little less impressive the farther north and east you go. And as we go into the evening overall across the region, the numbers become a little less impressive. So Here's a look at uh, what the future radar looks like on that same model. And what we'll probably see here is just occasional showers and thunderstorms today. Actually, the more rain we see, the less likely it is that we'll get severe weather, severe thunderstorms, because the rain will have a stabilizing effect. But what we don't want to do is play down the rain too much today because the rain could be our biggest problem overall because it's very, very humid. The atmosphere is full of moisture and any uh, showers and storms can be efficient rain producers and especially if they go over the same areas a few different times we could have some you know some localized flooding problems so here's the future radar at six o'clock this evening and you look at this and you say oh it looks like the severe weather threat may be highest southwest of youngstown but even if we don't have a severe weather risk in parts of the valley this could still bring some heavy rain and some localized flooding problems so it's one of those days to just be prepared for some slowdowns on the roads and certainly you want to be careful not to drive through any standing water. You don't know how deep that water is. Uh, the risk for damaging winds and isolated tornadoes, that's something we don't have a great handle on just yet. My suspicion this morning is that our severe weather risk is not real high, especially from Youngstown north and east, a little bit higher 
in the southern half of our viewing area as we get into the afternoon. No severe weather risk this morning, it's just light to moderate rain. What happens after our period of steady rain this morning is still, you know, kind of questionable. The more bouts of rain we see, that would be bad news for flooding concerns, but it would be good news for the severe weather risk because it would tend to cool and stabilize the atmosphere. So it's a day to stay tuned, that's for sure. Uh, but this is just a uh, relatively quick morning update of more updates on social media throughout the next several hours. And of course, this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11. I will see you then.